All right, everybody, it's time to get serious. We're about 29 days away from the Ethereum merge. Tentatively, could be plus or minus a day or two, and that's set to happen around September 16th, September 17th. It's hard to say because you know it's a block specific, so we don't know officially on the date or time, but it's about that time. And I do wanna say, guys, September 10th, we're gonna be having a panel of YouTubers together. It's gonna be a lot of people, and it's gonna be some big names like BBT, Red Panda Mining, The Hobbyist Miner. Of course, it's hosted by Sir and X, so check him out. Uh, myself, I'll be on the panel as well. You're gonna have Son of a Tech, you're gonna have Max Voltage. I'm trying to think, there's there's a couple more people. A GPU Risers Vintech, I'm sorry, Vistang. I'm sorry if I miss uh, anybody else. It's gonna be a really big day, guys, September 10th. You are gonna wanna watch that stream, trust me on that. But yeah, let's talk about some things, man. So I know, personally, I'm expecting to lose a few thousand dollars. That's a lot of money, that's life-changing money. There's people out there that only make a few thousand dollars a month right? And uh, I do have a full-time job, so that'll cushion me. I'll always be fine either way. But I really got to, just like a lot of you, evaluate, you know, is mining at that current moment going to be profitable? And so that's what we're going to talk about today, my strategy moving forward. Firstly, altcoins. It is altcoin season, obviously, right? So what's a good altcoin? What am I thinking about? I mean, at the, at the end of the day, none of us know officially this will be the next big coin, if there even will be a next big coin. So there is definitely a lot of risk. So right now, now, while I still have the chance, I am mostly on Ethereum, mostly. I have turned a rig over to Flux and I have turned a rig over to Ergo just in case, right? Because what I think is going to happen, it's kind of obvious. Once Ethereum goes away, the difficulty for all the other coins is going to shoot through the roof. And at that stage, you know, at that point, will I be able to get a lot of Ergo? Will I be able to still get a lot of Flux? Something to consider for something like Ergo is that I believe that they're giving out 3% less coin every few months. Maybe it's every th every quarter, every three months, give or take. So that's also something to consider. The difficulty is going to be much harder if you like Ergo, plus they're going to be giving you less coin. So I think right now is a decent chance, not even decent, I think it's a really good time if you're interested in an altcoin to start getting those altcoins now rather than waiting, right? So that leads me to my next point, small miners, these Doge type miners, these ETC miners. I have two Doge miners and I love them and I think they're awesome and I'm really interested in buying more, not Doge, but ETC miners, because right now I am not diversified. I'll be honest with you. I have a okay amount of Ethereum. I have like 2.3 because we hit that block. And I figured since I hit an Ethereum block, you know, solo mining, I might as well just keep it Ethereum in case Ethereum goes big. And then I have almost half of a Bitcoin that I've mined with my GPU miners. So I am happy with that amount of Bitcoin, but I really don't have a lot of the other altcoins. I definitely have some Flux. I have a little bit of Ergo and I have a little bit of a couple other coins like Neox uh, and stuff, but I don't really have that diversified portfolio. And I do think that this could be the opportunity for myself to get a massive amount of gains long-term because I don't think that Bitcoin's gonna five or 10X anytime soon. However, as you can see with a lot of these altcoins like ETC, which is Ethereum Classic, the real true Ethereum, it mooned, it went up what, hundreds of percent, just like that, right? And that happens with these smaller cap coins. That happens quickly, that happens very, fast, right? And, and sometimes it happens overnight, where I don't think Bitcoin is just overnight going to 5, 10x, 3x, something like that. I do think it'll go up over time, absolutely, but I don't think, you know, for me, it's it's the greatest strategy to only put all my eggs into that. It's good to have a couple lotto picks. So the next thing I want to talk about, expansion, expansion, expansion. I've been saying this for about two or three months now. I really genuinely believe right now, if you have not been, you know, hodling cash, like having cash to the side and you're planning to expand, you're missing out. I really think that. I still believe that side hustles are the way to go, which is something I'll get into in, in a little bit. But yeah, for me, man, expanding, I do want to expand, but I have to see what's going to happen. I think GPU prices are going to crash. I think they're going to go down significantly from where they are right now. And people are going to have to understand that those graphics cards that they paid $1,000 for, $800 for, a 3070 in the bull market just aren't worth what they they want. Hell, they're not even worth MSRP anymore, right? So it's going to take a little bit of time for those sellers to finally realize, you know what? I'm not holding a thing of gold anymore. Instead, I'm holding something that's not really profitable at the moment. So I do think that no, like October, November, December, it's going to be the time to buy graphics cards. And so I will consider around that time, but we need to see for me, 3070s at around $200, $250. And a lot of you are probably thinking, that's impossible, DJ. There's 
no way, man. I'm already seeing people in my Discord. Obviously, that's anecdotal, but I'm seeing people in my Discord who are buying 7 to 10 3070s for 150 bucks each, some for $200 each. Don't ever think it's not possible, man. Don't ever think it's not possible. It is extremely likely, in my opinion. Maybe not 150 bucks for everybody, but I do think we'll see a lot of $200 deals, absolutely. Now, the Fed is set to speak today at the making of this video, the Fed. Now, the Fed, if you're not watching this, right, they are talking about recession. They're talking about how the recession is going, or inflation is going, um, what the, the spikes that they're moving in up and down. Is it effective? Is it working? Is it helping the market? So they are set to talk today, and the market could substantially go up with what they say, and they say that, yes, it is working that we raise 75 basis points or 0.75%. Yes, what we are doing is effective, or we're going to see the market go down even further, right, until September when they talk again. So we'll find out. One thing that I need to also think about, and I've been thinking about now that I'm in the process of moving to my new home, is electric rate. So I am actually in at nine cents, which would sound awesome. I would be very happy with that through the bear market. However, the delivery free right now, the delivery fee is six cents. So that raises us up to 15 cents. Now that's not a great electric rate. Is it the worst electric rate in the world? Absolutely not. Would I want to have a bunch of ASICs with 15 cents? Hell no. But for GPU mining 15 cents, it'll keep me alive for a little bit. I think, uh, you know, maybe another six months to a year, which is totally fine. If it ever comes to that point for me and my strategy where I have to turn off and just buy the coin, I will do that, right? I talked about this yesterday in, in my live stream where I mentioned the same exact thing. It's like, are you here to burn electricity or are you here to make money and earn a coin, right? And you got to really think about that. I love GPU mining. I mean, you guys know that this home, I'm not disconnecting any of these GPUs until the day I move out. Like literally the day of, I will put all this shit in our cars and we will move maybe two trips or whatever, right? But I'm going to keep mining as long as I can on the lower electric rate. But where it comes to the point where it's like, it doesn't make sense. Why would I pay out of my pocket? It doesn't make sense because I'm not here to just burn electricity. I'm not here just so the GPUs spin. It doesn't make sense. I'm here to make money and to get the coin. If I had to just turn it off, let it sit there for a while, that's a much better decision. So in my opinion, you know, don't be so addicted to just running your GPU just for running the GPU. That doesn't make sense. There's certain situations where you get hosted by people like Hawk or Hawk Crypto or whatever, right? Whatever your situation is, there's definitely a lot of options. And sometimes the best option is just turning off. So if I really had to, I would turn off. Now, I would probably pay out of pocket. I would definitely pay 100 bucks out of pocket, maybe 200 bucks out of pocket where I'm not profitable. After that, no. For me, it's I'm just going to buy the coins. It doesn't make sense at that point. I will not sell the hardware. I'll not sell my, my ASIC. I will not sell my GPUs at all. I'll just leave them off, buy the coin, and that would be much more profitable in the long run overall because you have to understand the goal, at least for me, is is to get the coin and make money. And that's how you can do it, right? You don't have to just GPU mine. You don't have to just always mine. That's not the only way to be profitable. What is your goal in life? I'll let you figure that out for yourself. Next thing, like I said, I am moving right now. It is a lot of work, man. It is a lot of work. I'm still working on the shed. I have a work order for that for my local electric company. Things are looking good for the shed, man. It looks like uh, it's happening with National Grid. Unfortunately, in my area, there's only one electric company. I know a lot of you have five electric companies and they're competitive and this one offers you this and that. No, this one is like, this is all we offer. You will take it or you will not have working electric for your home. That's the monopoly. It sucks, but it is what it is, man. So I don't know. I, it, it really isn't fun. It's not, it's not a good deal by any means. You're going to take the, the weenie and uh, you either, you know, have your fridge on and your microwave working or you don't have anything at all. So that's, that's just the situation we're in. Now, ETC miners, I think I mentioned this a little bit earlier. I am very interested in getting one of those ETC miners. One, because it's extremely efficient. Two, because I'm not diversified at all. So like one of those iPolos, I really want to get my hands on that. And I think I'm going to buy a couple probably very soon. I am concerned. It could go either way, right? I'm not 100% sure. Will the prices go down? But then why would the prices go down? Because of Ethereum going away. Wouldn't that make people want to get into ETC more? I'm not really sure. I could see it going either way. So I'm thinking maybe buying one one or two of them or talking to a sponsor, which you guys know, I don't really do a lot of sponsor content, but Hey man, if I can get a freaking iPolo and, and, and it's the next big coin, I mean, I'd be a fool not to, right? Just to do a review on it. That's too simple. So I love every single one of you. I think I've taken up enough of your time. I would love to hear from all of you, what you're doing. What is your mining strategy specifically? If you made it to this part in the video, I want you to put in 
hashtag road, R-O-D-E, or hashtag Mike, M-I-C. It doesn't matter. That way I will take your comment much more seriously than other random people just complaining. If you put in hashtag road or hashtag Mike, I'll know that you actually watched the entire video. I love every single one of you guys. Sorry for the lack of videos, but they are coming, and I'm building a YouTube studio in my basement right now. It's a huge basement. You guys are going to love it. I, uh, I'm going to get you some good, good content going. I love every single one of you. Peace out, guys.